I'm going to be even more blunt and, and say this. This is a white male dominated administrators union that is going after a Latino superintendent. Well, tonight, the head of the teachers union is arguing that some of the attacks on super on superintendent Jesus jar are racially motivated. And those comments made by John Velardita are directed at the union that represents school administrators after it called on jar to resign. They wanted a white candidate, a white male candidate to be the superintendent. During a blistering interview over the phone, the head of the teachers union, John Velardita, stuck up for superintendent Jesus jar despite the two having been at odds in the past over teachers' contracts. Well, Velardita saying the attacks against the superintendent by the union that represents school administrators were a distraction at a time when leaders need to focus on reopening schools safely and overcoming a massive budget shortfall that will likely lead to drastic cuts at the district. They never supported this guy being hired as superintendent. In other words, before he was even on the job, they opposed his presence here. Earlier this week, the Clark County Association of School Administrators said Jara had lost the trust of his employees, even calling Jara unfit. The dispute partly centers around a piece of legislation that would have allowed the district to take back unspent dollars from schools to help offset the budget deficit. Well, even Governor Steve Seselak accused JAR of being misleading by indicating the unpopular idea came from the state and not the district. As for the racially charged allegations coming from the teachers union, the administrators union calling it unfortunate and race baiting rhetoric and went on to say that JAR has lied and quote demonstrated over and over again that he is not competent. Well, we did reach out to the district to see if the superintendent had any reaction to the racial allegations, but as of right now, we have not heard back. Now, earlier this week, though, Jar did say that he will continue to work with principals, teachers, and parents to find financial solutions.